Hello, I'm Christina and welcome back to Yoga with Christina, Kriska Yoga. I'm just editing this video now, realized I did not have an intro for it. There will be a few videos without an intro. I may film some formal intros, but I figured maybe it's not necessary. But anyway, this video you're about to participate in is a gentle hatha yoga stretch and it focuses on the pelvic floor area so if you maybe have been sitting around a lot or you have a naturally tight pelvic floor area or maybe you've just had an injury or surgery in that area this is a great gentle stretching routine to practice so i hope you enjoy it uh, i hope you're all doing well in this um kind of crazy time we're having before we get started don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell there'll be lots of videos coming up i'm currently trying to figure out a way to film in my house again i have some videos pre-filmed that i filmed at youtube one of which you'll be seeing here now um this one that you're watching but once those run out youtube is closed obviously for obvious reasons and i cannot film anywhere other than my home so I have to figure it out but for now here's this video there's no props needed for this video so jump right in grab your yoga mat and let's get started come to sitting in a cross-legged position crossing your shins flex your feet sit up tall bring your hands down by your sides to your legs or on your abdominals if you'd like sit up tall close your eyes deep in your breath Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Come inward and focus on your breathing. Make your way to your hands and knees, bringing your knees under your hips. Shins are parallel. We'll take a melting heart stretch. Bring your forehead to the floor, staying up on your knees, keeping your hips up. Reach your arms out in front of you. Bring your chest down towards the ground. Open your shoulders. Open your armpits towards the floor. Breathe here. Bring your head up off the ground, come up onto your hands. Bring your right leg forward, coming into a low lunge on the right side. Keeping your left knee down, the right knee is tracking directly above the right ankle. Toes are pointed forward. Looking down, your hands are framing your front foot. Take an exhale, shift your weight onto your left leg, straighten your right leg, flex the right foot. Come into a runner's stretch on the right side, stretching the hamstring and the entire back of the leg on the right side. Bend the right leg slowly, bringing the weight back into the right leg. Walk the right leg over to the right and come down onto your forearms for a lizard stretch. Inhale, exhale, gently press the hips down towards the floor. Stay here.
Slowly come up onto your hands, walk your right foot over to the left, come to the outer edge of the right leg on the ground, keeping that left leg out behind you for pigeon pose. Inhale, straighten the spine, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fold. Bring your head on top of your hands. Feel free to also come up onto your elbows. Hold your pigeon pose here. Pause the video and grab a blanket if you need some support underneath your hips. And lift yourself up. Bring the right leg back and bring the left leg forward, coming into low lunge on the left with your right knee down on the ground behind you. Exhale, straighten the left leg, come onto the right knee, flex the left foot, fold forward for a runner stretch on the left. Come back into the left leg, bending that left leg, shifting forward, and then we'll come into our pigeon pose on the left, dropping onto the outer edge of the left leg and keeping that right leg out behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fold. Stay up on your elbows if you'd like here, or you can come onto your head, bring your head to your hands. Slowly come up, bring your leg back underneath your body. From here, we'll take a side lunge, bring the left leg forward and stretch out the right leg, turning the legs out from the hips. You can keep the left heel raised if you would like, or if you are able to, bring that left heel down onto the ground. Stretch the right leg out, flex the right foot, hold here. Shift the weight to the center, coming into a squat. Your legs are turned out, both legs are bent, your hips are lower than your knees. You can keep your elbows on your knees to help keep those knees out. If this is too much for your knees, if this is too much strain, feel free to skip this step. Close your eyes if you would like, hold here and breathe. Shift the weight over to the right, coming into a side lunge on the right. You can lift the right heel or bring it down to the floor if you're able to, keeping the left leg stretched and the left foot flexed.
slowly come out of your lunge. We'll take a wide-legged child's pose here. So bring the knees a little wider than you normally would about the width of your yoga mat. Your toes are touching. Sit your hips onto your heels. Relax your head down onto the ground and stretch your arms out in front of you. Hold here and breathe. Slowly make your way up, come to lying on your back, and we'll take a constructive rest. Bring your knees in towards each other. Knees are bent, walk your heels in towards your hips and bring your knees in to rest on each other. You can rest your arms down by your sides with your palms facing upward or bring your hands to your abdominals. Close your eyes, come inward, deepen your breath, breathing in and out through your nose. Focus your attention on your breathing and remain here. Gently stretch your legs out onto the ground, coming into a Shavasana. Separate your legs apart. Bring your hands down by your sides. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and deepen your breath. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Once again, come inward, focusing on your breath, and remain here.
Bring some slow and gentle motion back into your body, moving your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. Roll to the right side, bring your knees bent, your arm under your head. When you're ready, press yourself up, come to a cross-legged seated position. Bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall, close your eyes and breathe deeply. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this gentle yoga stretch. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know how you're doing, how you're getting along, how you're doing with all of this craziness. Leave me a comment down in the comments below. Also, future kind of requests. Just want to know what you guys want to see want to practice. Leave your suggestions, requests for yoga classes, and any videos really you want to see from me, please leave them in the comments below. I've started vlogging a little bit, and if you're interested in seeing some of that, like what I've been getting up to this past week, kind of in my house, I like watching those kind of videos. If you also like to do that, you can check out my other channel. I'll leave that linked in the description and in the cards of this video. Again, like this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more yoga videos coming up. We're all going to be needing them, so definitely subscribe for more. Check me out on Instagram at Kriska Yoga and on my website, kriskayoga.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.